uh and yeah and then so those were my favorite works but 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 i have one last work uh that i want to show which is uh this, this is like a bonus track and uh if you have another five more minutes uh just hold on there because this is a work that uh that uh that uh that i decided to uh to acquire uh because i thought it was very relevant uh and it's a work that uh that represents that identity struggle that is Hong Kong is going through. Not only, okay, okay, perhaps no, I'm rephrasing that one. It's important the context of Hong Kong, don't get me wrong, but I think it's a, it's a struggle that uh, especially millennials are going through in, in general. So this work by a Hong Kong artist, uh, Hong, Kong, Hong Kong artist, uh, Ma Kim Tung Tu, uh, this work is, is for me is the one of the wisest interpretation about uh, identity in, a, in an identity uh, in an identity clash. Uh, I know Mac personally uh, and she explores her works. I love her works. I mean I'm, I mean everybody knows I'm a big there you go that's another Mac. I'm a big because she, I'm a big collector and, uh, and I'm a big believer on her because she is, she's she's making she's questioning big time. And this work, the reason I decided to question it is because it has so much, there was so much going on in this work. So, and I wanted to take a few minutes to really explain it. The reason I thought this work was really relevant and I decided to put it as a bonus track is because it has so much symbolism. So, at the first start understanding from where she comes. She plays this, uh, The Sims, so she, she plays a video game and then takes a, a photo of the video game or a, or a or a screenshot of the video game and then cuts it into people and then send it through. But that is starting from that symbolism. You're coming from a video game, which is a very, from your ideal world in video games, you create it yourself and it looks beautiful and fantastic and nobody interferes, is your utopic life, right? I'm master of my own world in your world of video games. But when you take it outside and you try to give it to three different people that you hardly know, or actually you know not at all because she, she hires them in, through the internet, then you create that friction with society, right? It's like the Aristotle, I think it was Aristotle, the one that said about uh, that if you put a kid in a cave, the perception of reality is going to be very different because once you get out of the cave, the kid will be shocked because you have, you have this social friction, i.e. politics. So she takes that context and of course, the whole mismatch and nothing matches and so on. There's actually the, the strong symbolism of, uh, of, 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 of the, the frictions of reality. But this work is, first of all, I mean, first of all, discussing an identity in Asia, which is the, 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 the whole work being read. So, um, so it has a strong uh, social context in, for Hong Kong. First, oh, that this is my take again. I mean, uh, uh, I think that, 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 that the, the color red was extremely powerful in this work. Uh, secondly, and I think it was most, most, most important, I think it explores, uh, Mac has always been very open, uh, exploring themes from introversion to sexuality to orientation to everything right everything 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 she's really like a, out there and i think i like artists that are bold enough to say for me uh, there are no there are no boundaries i explore everything and and then you have that element of a of a woman looking at, a, at, a, at a herself in a mirror and, and you know how powerful that that could be not only for women but for anybody like if you stare yourself for long in a mirror uh, there's actually I read many years book a book about this like psychological exercises and they actually would recommend you to do that like a simple psychological exercises and it's like look yourself in a mirror and and call yourself so you, you say your name to the mirror it's pretty to try give it a try it's pretty bizarre that that, that exercise so uh, the symbolism of the of the woman in the mirror and then the symbolism of uh, of the other person which is her walking away with that kind of like a smile Boom. When I saw this work in the PDF, I was just like, boom. That's it. This is a masterpiece. In my opinion, again, the art is extremely subjective. But this work is, if it's going to stand the time of time, absolutely. This work is that, 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 that more, no, no, the psychological dilemma of, of my self identity and doubt and self doubt and, and is, is going to be a human, is a human constant. It was there, this is the reason why we have psychoanalogists and this is the reason why we have Carl Jung in, a, 
and, uh, and Nietzsche and Freud and so on in psychoanalysis. And this is the reason why we have uh, Duchamp and this is the reason why we have uh, post, uh, post-modernism and so on. It comes from works like this, that you start questioning your identity uh, and the social context around it. So this work is, is just, this is post-modernism, there you go. Uh, this is just it's some mind-blowing work. It's a mind-blowing work, and uh, and yeah, it's I have to say that is one of my is it is today one of is one of my most valuable work or value like at my personal treasures. Yeah, what can I say? I have no more words. I mean, to a point. So this this work actually uh, ended into. A, into a, into a, into an article that uh, that was published by Artnet and, uh, and it was funny because uh, uh, when I told Artnet when we were discussing about the interview I told them that uh, that this work was coming up this is that something that I was uh, in, in discussion with the galleries because they wanted to put it at the last day uh, so I told them like ah oh, Artnet needs some photos what if we take photos at the gallery and uh, and so when they came with a photographer and everything it was. Uh, Ah, it was mind blowing. Is is uh, I was there with the photo. Like I think even the photographer really liked it. So he started taking a lot of photos for me going around the the the, the work. It took like I don't know, like fifty photos. I don't know. He was shooting, shooting, shooting. And of course, because it's that that uh, that uh, uh, so much movement going in, in in the booth that that gather a, a crowd, right? So it was like also like about thirty people. Or I don't know more going around it was quite overwhelming and and, and one of the, the photos that eventually make it into artnet the the photographer asked me can you start explaining uh the work so in that in that case was uh, a staff from our basel uh who was part of the entourage um so she came and i said like okay explain the work to me so so it be, so when you take the photo it becomes more natural so i was explaining the work and so on the reason pretty much the same narrative that i'm giving you guys uh and and immediately so people pick up those stories and immediately as as the, we finished the photo session there were tours like immediately they went into that work and started start explaining the work as i was explaining it and i look back and i realize like this work is relevant this work is is, is not it's not it's socially relevant it's exploring an idea and people are getting it and again i'm, I'm really proud of uh, of uh, of mac i mean what can I say, Mac? You are, you are there. You 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 are asking. You you're exposing very important questions. Uh, you are an artist. You are an artist, Mac. You are a badass artist. You're going to be huge. Uh, I always said I've been working with Mac since, since his early days, and and of course, I mean, he, as you're growing and you you know like how things are going and. But since the day of the the, the book of the, the hyena is, is an inside joke, but she knows very well what I'm talking about when she put the, the, the hyena, the books, the kids book about hyenas, the, the animal. But till this, uh, I always believed in you, Mac. I, I, you have a beautiful mind and you should go for it. Don't, 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 don't box it. Just, just let it out. Everything that comes into your, into your mind Regardless of the topic, regardless of the taboo, let it out. You, your aesthetics are absolutely beautiful. Even if though that I, everybody knows that you don't paint, but that's not the point. You are, you are a conceptual artist. So, Mac, fantastic. My, what can I say? It's going in that wall. So once I pick it up, I think next week I need to go to the gallery to, uh, to, to pick it up. It's going on that well, but later. I mean, uh, you will see that work changing. <laughs> but uh, uh, but uh, because I actually have a, I want to change uh, the work. I usually have a like a like a schedule in my at home changing the work. So, uh, but yeah, that work is is, is 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 part of my collection. I'm very proud of to have it with me. And uh, and really, uh, what I can say is that I'm I'm super happy with Mac. I'm super happy with. Uh, with uh with her career and and that for me is an artist of the future so uh if you guys are not familiar with maggie and tung too please change your 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 vision and and start looking at her she is 
she's very young and she will surprise us somehow so uh kudos to mac so yeah those are my takes uh those are the works that i thought are quite relevant to show relevant to see i would love to hear your your thoughts again i mean as you guys know uh i love interaction especially in a, in a field that is so subjective like art uh, I would like to hear your interpretations. Also, if you have other works that perhaps I missed, uh, more than happy to see them. Uh, I love this kind of information and I love this kind of dialogue. So, uh, and I hope that this video, my objective is to this video to stimulate thought, uh, even if you like it, even also actually, if you dislike what I said, that's actually even better because I'm stimulating that thought, that creative, uh, the critical thinking, which is like my goal in life, bring back critical thinking. So uh, yeah, feel free, happy to uh, to message me to uh, as you guys do all the time. So uh, I, I will respond uh, uh, whenever I can, or we can just grab a coffee for those in Hong Kong. And you know that I I love talking to uh, talking nonsense. And uh, uh, so more than happy to do so. So yeah, there you go. I, I planned to do a, a fifteen minute uh, video, but. I decided not to script it. Uh, I just went loose. I think I'm, I feel more natural when I just talk like this. It's a bit more sincere, uh, make it more fluid. So uh, if you braved one hour of my me ranting about life, <laughs> thank you very much. And yeah, I hope to see you soon, guys. So uh, yeah, send me a message uh, or let's grab a coffee or a beer. And yeah, do let me know what you guys think. Okay. Cheers. Bye.